Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this lesson, we will show you how to use the average function in Excel. Average function is one of the statistical and most commonly used function in Excel, which is the arithmetic mean of the numbers provided in the argument. Average is calculated by adding the sum of the cells and then dividing the total by the number of cells in the argument. So let's see with the help of examples that how this function works in Excel. So we have a set of data here and we'll start with the column A first. So we type average function here in cell A14 and hit tab to auto complete. As you can see, average function takes number arguments and it can take up to 255 number of arguments if you're working on Excel 2007 or later versions. The first argument is required for the function to perform and rest are optional. These arguments can either be a cell reference to the location in the worksheet, ranges, named ranges, value returned from other function or directly supplied to the function. So in the first example, we select A8 to A12 as range in the first argument and then we close the parenthesis and hit enter. The function returns 4.6 as average of these 5 numbers. Also, if you sum up these numbers 5 plus 8 plus 1 plus 3 plus 6, it will be equal to 23. And as we have 5 number of cells in the argument, when we divide 23 by 5, it returns 4.6 which is an average. We can also supply any direct value in the argument along with range and ask function to return mean value. Say we supply 7 in the second argument then we hit enter and now function return 5 as an average of the selected range and the value supplied in the argument. Now we move on to the next example where we'll see how average function handles any empty cell or cells that contain text in the range. So we type average function here in cell B14, then we select B8 to B12 as range and we hit enter. Function returns 6 as average in this case. That is because B9 is ignored by average function since it contains text instead of a number and function found no value in B11 thus considered it as empty cell and ignored this one too. In the third example, let's see what happens if there is a cell that contains 0 in the range. So we enter function here, then we select C8 to C12 as range which looks similar to the range which we referred in the last example except that there is a 0 instead of a blank cell here. We hit enter and now function gives us 4.5 but why that's because average function does not ignore cells that contain zero and include them when calculating average so in the last example after summing up function divided the total by three to return average however in this example function divided the summed up value by four instead of three and the function returned to 4.5 now we move on to the fourth example, uh, we type average function here in cell D14 and then we select D8 to D12 and close the parenthesis. You must have observed that cell D11 contains date value. So let's see what happens now, what would function return to. To know about it when we hit enter, function return 8405, it is because Dates are always represented by numbers in Excel, which is why function returned to 8405. Let's move to the next example. So we type average function here and then we take E8 to E12 as range where cell E9 has text which looks like number and logical value in E11. Now we close the parenthesis and hit enter and it gives us 5.3333333. Okay, now we'll supply direct value into the argument. So we double click on E14 and we clear argument and then we type 5 in the first argument, 2 in double quotes as text representation in the second argument, comma, 7 in the third argument, comma, logical value 2 in the fourth argument and 4 in the 5th argument. 
as you can see we have supplied exactly all values which are there from e8 to e12 including text which looks like number along with the logical value so we hit enter and surprisingly function this time returned 3.8 as average but how is it possible that is because text representation and logical values are handled differently it depends whether they are stored in the range or entered directly to the function and in the last example when it was stored in the range function treated both as text and ignored the values of those cells and divided the summed up values by 3 and hence it returned to 5.33333 and now when it is supplied directly to the function function transform to which is then second argument into a number and true to 1 as excel treats true as 1 and false as 0 and then it divided the summed up values by 5 and returned 3.8 as the answer now let's move to the next example where there's an error value in the range and we ask function to return an average so we select f8 to f12 and then we hit enter it returns an error value which is there in cell f10 so the function would return an error if there is any error value in anywhere in your data set or range you are referring in the argument okay in the last example you will see what happens if the values to be averaged are all non-numeric so we type function here and we select range from g8 to g12 and hit enter the moment we hit enter function return to division error the division error also occurs when function does not find any value to be average in the argument well this is how average function works and you can make use of it in different situations we hope you found this lesson informative stay tuned and keep learning with us thank you and have a nice day